on the day of judgment, a man will come. He will be a rajulul azim as samin huge. But in the scales of Allah, he, in the scales of Allah, he will be lighter than a mosquito's wing. Why? Because there's no khair in him. There's no good on him. He had no concern for humanity. He had no concern for a responsibility to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And these are the people who will be weighty. You may have no, really, you may have no status in the dunya. You may not have no big car. You may not have a car here, watch, live in a nice area. But your status is by Allah. As long as you are obedient to the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that is what his status is. You know, amazing how Muslims suck up to people who have cars. Guy buys a new Q7 and he's got loads of new friends. I mean, what does it say about those friends? Wallahi, what does it say about those friends? That you are impressed because he's bought a piece of metal? You are sucking up to him because he's bought a new piece of metal? You respect people on the basis of where they live? On a few pieces, on a few bricks, on the basis of a few bricks? Is this the state that the Muslims have come down to? There was a time, what was the size of the house of the Prophet ﷺ? The house of the, the size of the house of the Prophet ﷺ was this. It was 4 meters by 4.5 meters. That was the entire size of the house of the Prophet ﷺ. But was there any house in the history of humanity which had more barakah than the house of the Prophet ﷺ? What was the size of the Masjid Nabi ﷺ? You compare it to this huge masjid, East London Masjid. What was the size of Masjid Nabi? It was 30 meters by 35 meters. And after the Battle of Khaybar, it was extended slightly, just slightly. There was no fancy carpet on the floor. The ceiling barely exceeded the heads of those who prayed within it. And the walls were made out of unbaked clay. But the men and the women which emanated from this masjid were baked. Were baked. And until 8 Hijrah, there was not even a lantern in Masjid Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And Tamim Dari radiallahu anhu bought a lantern in 8 Hijrah. From this small dark masjid emanated a light which extinguished the darkness of Kufr in half of the world. In half of the world. Because it was a place of substance. You respect people on the clothes that they wear? Really? I mean amazing. It doesn't say, it says about, it says a lot about us. What state of decadence that we have reached, that we are going to respect a person on the clothes that he wore. When the Prophet ﷺ left this dunya, you know the clothes that the Prophet ﷺ left this dunya in, had 11 patches. He was the greatest of creation ﷺ. When Abu Bakr left this dunya, the clothes that he had, had 14 patches. When Umar ibn Abdul Aziz left this dunya, who was Umar ibn Abdul Aziz? Umar ibn Abdul Aziz was that man that when he was the Khalif, his Khilafah span from China to Spain, from the Caucasus to the depths of Africa. When he left, when he was dying, somebody came to his wife and they said, change his clothes, change his clothes. Look at it, can't you see he's got dirty clothes on? And she remained quiet. And again the person said, change his clothes, he's got dirty clothes on. And he remained quiet, she remained quiet. Upon the third time, the man said angrily, He's dying, why don't you change his clothes? And she said, by Allah, because these are the only clothes that he has. These are the only clothes that he has.